Hello, I'm the Crafting Man. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to take this shotgun shell and turn it into a wooden shotgun shell keychain. Stay tuned. I hope you like the video. Basically using the brass piece, firing pin, the brass piece, something like that. And we're going to be making shotgun shell keychains made out of a uh, dowel. Uh, this is a One by 72 uh, popular dowel. Um, this was the only size I could find, so we're going to. I'm going to show you uh, one of my new tools that I have. This, my friends, is a mini lathe, and I'm going to be turning down the dowel into the diameter of the shotgun shell, and we're going to be making shotgun shells. Christmas presents, and so we're going to start from there. Uh, I'm not that experienced with the uh, mini lathe, but I'm going to learn, and we're going to get better every time we do so. So, let me get everything hooked up, and we'll get started. The mini lathe is actually very simple. Uh, you've got a guard on it, you've got the chuck on it, you've got your piece. Um, I'm not sure what this piece is called, but this is where it holds it into the wood and you can tie it, tighten it down and everything. Uh, it came with a power supply. I don't know if you can see on here. But right here is actually the speed of the um, rotation. Uh, it goes from 12 to 24. Um, the highest setting is where you get a cleaner, I think, uh, carve on your wood. But I'm still learning how to use this machine, so we will work together. And it plugs into the side here. And plugs into your outlet. I've been um, trying to learn how to use this and everything. So we're going to learn together. Um, I've got to cut this down into um, sections. Uh, I have measured this is at about two and a quarter, two and a quarter inches long. Okay, I okay. I can't find my handsaw. You don't need a jigsaw for this, but I'm going to use it because of the fact I can't find my handsaw right now. So always follow the safety instructions. Always make sure you have. comes to cutting down the dowel, all you actually need is a hand saw. I, but I can't find mine right now, so we're going to just go ahead and do it this way, okay?
this back in. You want to test to see if this is level. Okay, and it looks pretty much level, and it's going to the right, so it's, it's good. I am going to tighten my guard down. have a mini set of turning tools. You can get these at any hobby store. You can get these at any, um, at, I think Walmart might have them, Home Depot have them, uh, any lumber store might have them, uh, Ace might have them. Um, so, but I got this whole thing, actually, I didn't get it. It was given to me. But this whole thing was uh, off, a, off Amazon. So, yeah, this, this whole thing was given to me off, uh, as a birthday present, and I, it was on Amazon for like 56 bucks, which is not bad. Um, the technical classification for this is a jeweler's lathe or a ornament lathe, but I just call it a lathe. So, enough talking, let's get this going. Sorry about that guys, my camera fell over, but anyway.
Alright, it's getting really close guys. Um, keep going with the same thing. got to do no I've got to do the so far. Okay, so I got I got to sand it down a little bit just to get this part off, which I can do real quick. But that's very close. So what they look like so far. Very close. Key rings on. And I hooked, I got these at Walmart. And again, I got these in the crafting carpet of Walmart. They're key rings, uh, they come with different sizes key rings, uh, hooks, uh, things to clasp them to your belt. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. So basically, what you wanna do is you want to wait for the glue to dry, whatever glue you use. I just happen to have hot glue, and that works for me. Uh, okay, what you want to do when you're working with stain is make sure that you have a clean surface. 
And then the project that you're working on, you want to make sure that all the oil, dust, are away from it. Um, that's what they, I don't know if you can see it very well. But I got this at Walmart also. Um, it is barn red. Okay, so you just want to put a little bit on the cloth, paper towel, whatever you have. And then, this is why I have the folder board, because it will drip. You're just going to gently and this may take more than one coat, which is fine. The instructions say you want to work on the project that you're working on. You want to get it on, and then you're going to wipe off the excess. Okay, and then the I know I'm getting it on the metal, but I can clean that off here in just a minute. And I didn't go up to the uh, 150 grit like I normally do. I only did 60 grit on this for a reason. And then you can come back, wipe it off. I will put, be putting a coat of polyurethane on this, okay guys? And I got, I, I guess I got all this at my local, local Walmart. Here's the comparison. Very, very close. Alright. Here's the original shotgun shell. Alrighty, so that is my take on the shotgun shell keychain. If you like this video, please leave a comment down below, like the channel, subscribe to the channel, and share on social media. That would help me out a lot. Um, I really enjoyed this product. All the par parts and the pieces you can get at your local craft store, Walmart, Home Depot, Lowe's, anything like that. Uh, so. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Again, do me a favor. Leave a comment down below. Hit that like button. Let's see if we can get to 20 likes on this video. If we can do that, that would be helpful. Um, that would have really helped my channel out. And please subscribe. Um, I know I haven't posted many videos and I'm trying to get a schedule going where I can post the videos properly. So subscribe. And in the comments, just tell me if you like this product, what I could do differently, um, stuff that I can look up or get or learn how to do this process a little bit better. I would greatly appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Thank you for the views that I've gotten on my last video and everything like that. So this is The Crafting Man. I will see you soon.